Hi, and thanks for coming to watch this video. This is another duo for dummies. This one is home screen gestures. Yes, I have uh, put out another home screen gesture video. This one's a little more detailed, uh, hopefully gives a better explanation of what's required uh, to make the gesture. This is, in my opinion, the hardest gesture. Uh, to make on the uh, Microsoft Surface Duo uh, or Duo 2. So hopefully you find this helpful. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, let's take a look at the home gesture use on the Microsoft Surface Duo. But first we want to take a look at a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And I want you to see here in the center down at the bottom that thin grayish line. That is the home uh, where the home gesture is made and you pull that upwards. And that's how you send the screen to home. On the Microsoft Surface Duo you also pull up. You don't have that gray line. But there is a line and I'll show you. Uh, how to find it and you do pull it up but you do have to go with a little bit faster speed but a very short distance so let's go take a look at it okay we're going to take a look at the home screen it's covered so let me uncover it there's what the home screen looks. see how I threw the app I didn't have to lift and throw it just throw it it works great okay the line I'm speaking of is created by the gray tray and the black bezel and it goes all the way across as you can see you have that entire area to work with uh, that line except for the corners that corner and this corner those are reserved for the assistant gesture okay so let's take a little bit closer look at the line and what we do so here's your line and we want to flick that line up it's just a small gesture movement and the movement should not go past the bottom of the uh, icon. So make certain that you use a flick, uh, not a uh, slow drag. Flick it, and you can flick with your index finger or thumb. And here are some examples for you to see. Okay, first I'm going to show you how I do it with my thumb. And then I'll show you a slow motion version so that you can see how far the thumb moves. Closely here in slow-mo. Now to help you better see the very minimal movement that is needed, I'm going to do it with the index finger slightly turned sideways. I'm almost just rotating the index finger. Okay, now watch this finger, watch this side flick. See how little movement there actually is. Now we're going to have an app covering the home screen, and you'll see what happens when you execute the uh, home gesture. You'll see the app disappear so that the home screen will become visible. Now I have seen some people call this a home gesture. We're going to put an app up. We're going to put all the screens back over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this app actually to the task list. This is not a home return. And you will see that the screens will not change. So throw the app in and the screens stay. This is the way it works on all Android devices. Okay. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, give me those thumbs up likes share it around let other uh, people know uh, maybe they'll find it helpful and uh, subscribe if you've not subscribed let me know if there's anything else you would like to uh, see videos on on how to's uh, you can comment down below tell me what you thought about the video as well uh, and again thanks for watching